You don't have to have lots of art materials to create interesting pieces of art. I've got a milk bottle, some bubble wrap, some paint, a piece of paper, a scissors. But if you don't have bubble wrap, a piece of cardboard will work just the same. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to make sunflower art. We're actually going to be creating a collage effect sunflower field and this is how we're going to do it. So to begin with all you need is a brush with some paint and all you're doing is creating a skyline so you want a wash of blue. Don't put too much pigment you can blend in the blue quite nicely. Continue all this idea all the way up in the sky. Continue this technique until the sky is complete. If you look at the sunflower field picture, you can see now that there's a lot of yellow. We've done our bit of blue sky, so we need to put in this just definition of yellow. So with your brush and some paint, just slowly build in the yellow line. It's a suggestive line, it's more like aerial perspective. Again, we want it as a wash, we don't want too much detail. You don't have to spend too much detail, too much time. Continue this process down to about by here. If we refer back to our picture, we can now see that there are like two tones of green. So we just want to suggest that. This is an, an impressionistic painting at the end of the day. So this time I've got some green on my paint and I'm starting with a paler shade first. And almost do a dabbing technique because you just want to show the impression of the green. You can work it in quite quickly as well with some water. And with the darker shade, you really don't need too much of this, but as it is wet, you can just dab that in as well. So you begin to get the aerial perspective, the tonal range through the field. Apply this technique until you're finished. It should begin to look like this. Be using some of the light and dark paint mixed together. If you look at the original picture, you will see that there are some little little bits of green. So you just put that suggestively into your picture, just here and there. You don't want too much, just a little bit. And give it a wipe with your finger. That should be enough. Also in the picture, obviously, there is a lot of sunflowers. And the middle of sunflowers have quite dark centres. So now we need to give this little impression that they love some little spots. So going back to your picture, all you need to do just water your paint down and just add a few dabs of brown. Darker areas, lighter areas. You don't need too many. It's just to give an illusion that there's lots and lots of colour in the background. So 
So your finished piece of the background should look a bit like this. Have some fun with it though. You don't have to be an amazing artist just to create this simple effect. So take your milk carton and cut it across the seam line. There is a seam sometimes inside a milk bottle. We're just basically cutting it in the half right now. Next you need to cut the milk bottle up. Now cut the panels of the milk bottle. So that's one panel. That's another panel. So you've got these kind of pieces. A sunflower is made up of such beautiful shaped petals. And we're going to recreate the shape of these petals with our milk carton. So basically what you're just doing is cutting out lots and lots of shapes. They look like this. So keep cutting. Just cut all those kinds of shapes, petal shapes of your milk bottle until your milk bottle cartons are finished. They don't all have to be the same either. That's what I've done so far. To so continue the whole milk bottle in this process. Cut a smaller panel of your milk bottle following those contours that I was telling you about again. So it's a piece a little bit like this. Now this time I want to cut the petals a little bit smaller. So using the same technique again, just cut some more petals just a little bit smaller than the previous ones. So they're now about this small. Repeat this process on all the panels. Now that you have all your sunflower petals cut out of the milk bottle, you now need some yellow paint, preferably acrylic because it will stick to the plastic better, but have a go with just poster paint because this, a translucent petal will still have a nice effect. And all what you've got to do is paint every single petal. So continue this process with all the petals. So if you look closely at the centre of a sunflower, it almost looks like spots, the sunflower seeds. That's why I chose the bubble wrap. Using your bubble wrap, cut out a circle. Only about that size. Then you can cut out an even smaller circle because I'm going to be sticking one on top of the other. You need to repeat this process so you've got a slightly smaller set. If you don't have bubble wrap, use some cardboard. Now I've begun peeling this, the backing off this cardboard. It's got a really nice texture underneath, corrugated.
So cut your circle out. Then cut a smaller circle to go inside this circle. So it'll look something a bit like that. Carefully glue down the two layers of the middle of the sunflower of the bubble wrap. Now this is the larger sunflower so it needs to be more down or in the middle. Now do the same with the smaller piece or make it slightly up a bit higher. It creates that Im illusion of perspective. When you look at the middle of the sunflower you'll see that there's some browns and some real dark blacky browns. So what you're doing now is going to get a brush full of brown paint and copy this. So on the bottom layer, gently dab in some light brown. Now that make that brown shade a little bit lighter. Add some yellow and some white. So we've got a, a slightly different texture of colour. Then add your black to the centre. Just dab it on because you want to give this illusion of poppy seeds. So it should look a bit like that. Now continue this process on the smaller one. Now take your paint, painted petals and put some glue on. And then just start adding them into place. Try and go all the way around first, just so you've got the whole radius of the flower. Then you can begin overlapping and laying some in on the top. Continue this process around the whole flower and use the smaller pieces that you did earlier for this flower. Once all the petals are on, your finished piece should start looking a bit like this. Now you need to get some more dark green acrylic and dab in the foreground. Continue this process all at the bottom. And there you have it, your finished sunflower field.